Michael will have some questions and I'll uh, ask Michael Bamberger with yeah. golf.com. Yeah. Great. Great. Thank you. Okay, uh, Nick, um, prehistoric round tied Patrick Hanley, 60 low amateur score on tour. What was that experience cool. like? Yeah, that. You, know, so you find out stuff when you do good um, things. Uh, it was a blast. Honestly, like I, uh, my, my caddy Hunter said it a million times today, there's, there's no time like the present. Um, and I think it's easy. Um, I, the putter felt so good. I, I just, I mean, the hole looked like a funnel. So it's easy to kind of, you know, like, you know, you got a par five next hole, you know, I'm going to do this and this. And he did a really good job of, of keeping me settled and, and keeping me where I was. And, um, and ultimately, just kind of kept uh, putting shots together and ended up with a pretty good round. Before we um, ask you a few more questions, can you just give us a run through the cliff notes of that round? You know, any special highlights that happened? Uh, long putts. Um, I, I made a lot of putts. Um, I guess the putter felt really good. I don't. I don't think I missed anything that I, I, I should have made per se. Um, drove it well. Hit, hit the irons. Really, I, I don't. I don't have any negatives after that round. I, I did everything pretty well. You shot 59. I think was a 12-year-old. You shot 60 I in college so. and. And now you've uh, now you've shot 60 on the PGA Tour. What what, what lets you go so low? Why are you so good? <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, honestly, I, I play a course back home in Huntsville. I played there for about two years, and um, it's, it's very easy. It's kind of in front of you, but it, it teaches you how to how to kind of break that barrier of eight, nine, ten under, and, and keep it going. Especially out here. I mean, I was at 15 under through two rounds, and I wasn't even was two back of the lead. So I think that kind of shows you have to keep your keep your foot down out here. Um, and I think that kind of goes for all of professional golf. These guys are really, really good, and it's fun to be out here competing with them. Did you think about 59 at any stage, like I later did. in the round? 17, 17, I did. Yeah, I ran it by. I wasn't leaving that one short. But um, no, and Hunter mentioned it on, on 18. He's like, why don't you just go ahead and make this? So, um, but no, I, I did. In your interview yesterday, you mentioned um, some nerves and feeling a little bit nervous. Yep. Did you feel him early today, and did you? What were the nerves like? Different later in the round? Of course, yeah. I mean, I, I always have first two jitters. It doesn't matter what I'm playing in. Um, but no, it, it, it was honestly just cool just to see the see the support from from this country club kind of come out and support me, and, and obviously probably kind of the head pro is kind of cool too. But um, you know, definitely nervous. But and, and kind of what I said yesterday, pr pressure is a, a privilege, and I'm um, fortunate to be in the spot that I'm in. Still got 18 holes to go, but what would winning on the PGA Tour mean to you right now? Oh gosh, um, more than I can put into words. Um, I, it's, I think it's easy to go there, but um, I think uh, it's my lead three or three or four. I think so, somebody said that, but um, it's going to be hard. It's going to be something that you know I haven't experienced yet, obviously on the PGA Tour, and um, you know we've, we've got a good game plan for that golf course, and just kind of go out there and, and do us and. and stay in, in the present, like Hunter says, and, and go from there. Speaking of experiences, what what can you draw on from your victories at the U.S. Amateur and other high-level tournaments as a, as a collegiate player and even a junior? What can you draw on that will help you tomorrow? Um, it helps a ton, just being in that in, the, in that atmosphere. Um, I think, you know, some cool stuff that USJ gives you is, is to play in, in some of the majors and, and play in the U.S. Open, and I, I think as an 18, 18 19 year old, um, it was a really cool experience for me. It was surreal, and I really didn't know where I was at the time, but to experience that young, um, kind of my late teens instead of when you turn professional, I think is really cool, and it's something they do uh, that's, that's really cool for, for juniors and amateurs. Do you, do you think tomorrow um, it, it might be easier in a way, given no. that there's a <laughs> <laughs> let me phrase it, there's a lot of low scores, at the yeah. do you think it's easier knowing that you have to go low tomorrow to sort of stay in touch, or you know, others are going to have to go lower to catch you? going to be hard either way. Um, I, I mean, at, at least looking at this place, like it's supposed to be easy and guys are shooting the numbers, but you still have to go do it. it you know, it's still a golf course and you still have to take good shots. There's, there's out of bounds everywhere. And um, and for tomorrow, there, you know, there's there's a lot of water out there and um, just kind of, you know, hit one good shot at a time and, and try to stack them and, and give myself a lot of good looks. And just can you give us an idea of how you'll spend your time tonight, this evening, and then in the morning before you tee off? What what will Nick Dunlap do? <coughs> Probably turn off my phone. Um, my, my girlfriend just landed, so go hang out with her, do some laundry. Um, I'm still trying to figure out this whole two weeks on the road laundry yeah. thing with um, with the tour, so uh, I'll probably go do that and, and get a nice dinner and try to get some sleep. She just landed, you said? She did. did she, 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 was landed, coming she landed earlier. I did. Yeah, okay. She so landed surprise. about 3.30 this morning, I think. And what's her name? Isabella Ellis. Okay. Just two, two for you. I really appreciate it. Yeah. I know you've had a long day. 
want to get off your feet. When you're on the driving range, have you found yourself sneaking peeks at a Justin Thomas or a Scotty Shuffler or some of these icons of the game? Yeah, of course. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to, to, I haven't played with JT, but um, play with some guys back home, they're tour players, and it's fun to learn from them. They've obviously been out here for a little while, and, and just to kind of see how they navigate in the practice rounds and um, you know, how they warm up, kind of their preparation leading into the day or the tournament. Um, it's fun for me to watch. And then over these three rounds, when you're on the golf course, does it feel like the regular golf that you play, or does it feel different because it's a PGA Tour event? Um, no, it definitely feels different. Um, the, the stage is obviously different, but you know, at the end of the day, it, it is still golf. There's a, a tee box, a, a flag, and, and a hole at the at the end of the hole. Um, and you know, you, you try your best to, to get it the least amount of shots as possible. So um, I, I, that's kind of like I just try to give myself. Um, you know, as many good looks at Brady as I can. And thank you very much. Finally, it looks like tomorrow you will probably going to be paired with Justin Thomas. That would be cool. I, I think you're looking at the scores. Yeah, uh, cool. Thoughts on that? Yeah, just really cool. Two yeah. family guys in, in, the, in the final group would be, be kind of cool. Um, and, you know, Hunter, Hunter's a, he played at Alabama as well. So, uh, And I played, fortunately, unfortunately, uh, Wilson had to back out with a, a back injury. But it was fun to play with him the first two days and, and kind of top it off playing with Justin. It should be a lot of fun. And just for the transcript, your caddy's name is Hunter Hamburg. Hunter Hamburg. Hamburg. And he used to play himself, didn't he? He did. I think he played for eight, nine years maybe. Um, played a little bit on the Corn Ferry. I think he you know, had maybe a dozen starts in the PGA Tour or something like that. Um, yeah, pretty good player. Congratulations on a great round. Go I appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Hey,